So we all suffer from procrastination from time to time. However, there are many techniques that we can use to overcome this bad habit. Now, procrastination is a natural process and a way for our brain to protect itself from burnout. There are even many different types of procrastination, but they almost always have the same root causes, which include perfectionism, anxiety, boredom, or the fear of failure. Before we can do anything to improve our productivity and reduce procrastination, we need to become aware of it and recognize that it is something that you are doing. Only then can you start taking steps to rectify the issue and use the laws that I'm gonna share with you to improve your situation. So in this video, I wanna share with you four key productivity laws that will help you become more productive and beat procrastination. So the very first productivity law is the Pareto's 80-20 principle. Pareto's 80-20 law states that 80% of the consequences come from 20% of the causes. This can also be described as 80% of your results come from 20% of your efforts. And this law not only applies to business, but also in life in general. You can use Pareto's 80-20 principle to highlight the key tasks that will move you forward and disregard the ones that won't. This will allow you to focus on the most important tasks that have the highest leverage for you. When you focus on the 20%, you can disregard the 80% that would have caused you headaches, delays, stress, and issues. You can even go one step further and do an 80-20 analysis on your workday. So work out the 20% of time where you are most productive and only decide to work in that particular time and then have other tasks in the rest of the 80% of the day. This way you can use Pareto's law in the most efficient manner. So the second productivity law that you can use to become more productive is Parkinson's law. Parkinson's law states that work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. What this means is that if you give yourself a week to complete a four hour project, then most likely that four hour task will expand across the whole week. Now, I remember when I was at university, I would procrastinate so much and leave all of my assignments to the last minute, despite the tutors giving us all of the information at the start of the year. Why? Because I felt that I had plenty of time to do the assignments and I had this whole year to uh, complete those tasks, I would procrastinate and procrastinate and procrastinate to the last minute. However, during the course of the year, I would always be anxious and have this niggling thought in the back of my head that I should be doing these assignments. This meant that I couldn't actually fully enjoy my university experience because I was always anxious about these looming deadlines rather than just getting the task over and done with. So if you want to use Parkinson's law to your advantage, then you need to firstly identify the high leverage tasks that you can do to move your goal forward or to actually get your task done. Then when you've identified the high leverage tasks, you can allocate a time scale to them. Once you have deadlines attached to the tasks, this will add a sense of urgency to each of the tasks that you outlined and you're more likely to complete them on time rather than letting them drag on because they don't actually have a deadline attached to them. The next law that we can use to beat procrastination and become more productive is Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law of motion states that a body in motion will remain remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. Now this law can be used for progress and productivity. And it means that often all we require to be more productive is to just start and let momentum kick in. If you start with small steps at first, this will motivate you to keep making progress. So for example, if you're trying to declutter your home, why not tidy up one drawer at a time rather than declaring war on clutter and opening everything up and then feeling overwhelmed right from the get-go. The next law that you can use to become more productive is Carlson's law. Carlson's law states that all in interrupted work is less effective and takes more time than uninterrupted work. Now, many of us have been led to believe that multitasking is a great thing. However, when you switch from one project to another or one task to another, there is time lost during the switching process. This constant context switching causes you to lose focus as well as valuable time that you could otherwise use to blitz through and complete a task. So if you want to be more productive, then stick to one thing at a time rather than switching from one thing to another to another because you will lose more time, you will become demotivated, and it will take you a lot longer to get through that one task if you keep switching to other tasks in between. That is all for this video, guys. If you want four more hacks to be more productive, then check out this video here. That's all. Take care. Bye-bye.